Welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Maths Channel. Um, I'm now going to be going through this paper, which is a paper for P4, Pure Mathematics P4 from the International A-Level Pearson's at Excel exam from June 2022. I'm going to go through each question in a separate video, save the questions, playlists, which um, for this paper, and also another playlist for the topic that each question will be from. Um, I'm going to not be a talking mark scheme. I'm going to actually explain um, questions sometimes in detail um, because I, you know, the whole purpose of this is to help students who have had problems up to now and you know to try and salvage what they can and do as best as they can in the actual exam. So I like to go through some basics to make sure people understand what's happening. So that's the purpose of this channel. I'm not here to be just a talking mark scheme and just read out the answers. Okay, now question number one. The binomial expansion of 3 plus k to the power of minus 2. I'll just take that away for now. Um, where the magnitude of kx is less than 3, where k is a non-zero constant, may be written in the form a plus bx plus cx squared plus dx cubed plus dot 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 continues like this, where a, b, c, and d are constants. Find the value of a. Now, this is a type of binomial expansion, which is different from what we learned in P2. This type of binomial expansion here, we have a negative power. Power here is negative 2. Um, when you have negative or even fractional powers, then you cannot use the NCR button. It will not work. Okay, so we have to use another method to solve this. Not that convenient, nice method that we learned in P2. So what we have to do is use a particular formula. Now that formula, as we just saw a minute ago, is in the formula book. Whoops, what's happened there? I just, um, let me just do this, yeah. This is the formula, okay? This is from the formula book itself, all right? Which you can refer to, although after a while you probably wouldn't need to refer to it. But basically this is the formula from the formula book which helps us to do binomial expansion. Now what you'll notice about this formula is that here you have 1 plus x to the power of n. What we have is 3 plus k x to the power of a negative 2. Now, this formula works when you have a 1 in this place. Here we have a 3 in this place. So that's the first thing we've got to do, is get rid of this 3. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that 3 out in a bracket. So I'll have 3 times 1. 3 times 1 is 3. But then inside this bracket, that must when I multiply 3 by this, it must give me kx. So that means I have to divide kx by 3. So this is k over 3x. Okay. Um, and all of this to the power of negative 2. Okay. All of this to the power of negative 2 because it's all inside this negative 2. Now that's the same as saying 3 to the power of negative 2 times 1 plus k over 3x to the power of negative 2. Okay. You can split them into two separate terms there. So 3 to the power of negative 2 is basically 1 over 3 squared, which is 1 over 9 times 1 plus k over 3x to the power of negative 2. So if I was to expand this, I'll end up with a 1 in this position here. And then I have to multiply by 1 ninth. So that means a, a must be equal to 1 over 9. Okay, so that's part a done. Okay, that's part a done. Um, now we're going to go on to part B, and of course we have to find, um, well, we have to use C and B and, and so on. So in this particular question it says, given that C equals 3B, show that K squared plus 6K equals 0. So basically what we have to do is try to extract the coefficient of X and the coefficient of X squared. Okay, and we can use this formula. Okay, which, in fact, we don't have to really, we can memorize, we, we, we should really know, know it, but you can use the formula book if you forget it. But basically what we have is, we have 1 over 9 times 1 plus k over 3x to the power of negative 2. Now, if we think about the expansion of this, you have 1 over 9 times. So 1 over 9 is going to multiply by all of these terms. You're going to have a 1 plus nx. Now, n refers to this power. N is the power, as you can see from here. That's the power. So it's going to be minus 2 times. And then X refers to whatever term is in this place here. Whatever term 
is in this place here is your x. That's our x. So whatever, and it includes the sign. If it's a negative, I'd have to include the negative. So what, whatever's there goes inside this place where x is. So that's k over 3 times x. All right, so that's 1 plus nx. That's x term. That's going to help us find what b is. Plus, and then we're going to have to find what c is. So you have, this is n times n minus 1. Okay, n times n minus 1. That's going to be n, which is our negative 2, times n minus 1, which is negative 3, over 1 times 2, which is 2. Okay, this is like 2 factorial, basically. All right, times, and then you're going to have this whole term squared, which will be k over 3x, all squared. Okay, that's all we need for b and c. We're going to deal with d later on. Okay, now, so I know that my b coefficient is going to be given by this term multiplied by 1 over 9. So it's going to be 1 over 9 times minus 2 times k over 3 without the x because we're looking for the coefficient. So that's going to give me minus 2k over 27. Okay, that's my b term. My c term is going to be given by 1 ninth times this. So you have 1 ninth times minus 2 times minus 3 over 2 times, and you have k squared over 9. Well, I'll, put, I'll put it like this for now, k squared, k over 3 all squared. Now, this is going to give me something positive, okay, because it's negative and negative. The 2 cancels with the 2 there. And the 3 cancels with the 9 there. So you're left with, basically, this is going to be on k squared over 3 times 9, which is k squared over 27. 3 times 3 is, um, yeah, that's going to be k squared over 9. Okay, so you're left with k squared over 27. So we're told that given that c equals 3b, so c equals 3 so this, which is k squared over 27, is equal to 3 times b, which is 3 times minus 2k over 27. Now, if I multiply both sides by 27, if I multiply both sides by 27, then the 27 is cancelled here, and you're left with k squared equals, cancel that with that, you're left with 3 times minus 2k, which is minus 6k, so therefore we can bring everything on this side, k squared plus 6k is equal to 0. And that's as we're required to show. Okay, so there's the answer to part B. Okay, now we're going to move on to part C. I'm going to move on to part C. And okay, now for part C, it says, hence find the value of k. So part 1, C part 1, find the value of k. So we know k squared plus 6k equals 0. So if you factorize this, you have k times k plus 6 equals 0. Therefore, k is either equal to 0 or k is equal to negative 6. Now let's see if there's any restrictions on k. So let's go back to the beginning of the question. And yeah, straight away, we can see here, very important for us to always check that. It says k is a non-zero constant. k is a non-zero constant. So that means k cannot be 0. So this answer here is one we have to reject. So we can say k equals negative 6. So you have to show that you have rejected that answer by doing something like this or even writing at the end k equals negative 6. Show that you have ignored the negative answer because k has to be a non-zero constant. You could even explain that if you want. You could say k is non-zero, something like that, just to make it clear why you've rejected the answer. Okay, so that's fine. That's part one of part question C. Then it says find the value of D. Okay, find the value of D. So now for part two, we have this from the earlier part of the question. Now we know that K is equal to negative six. So we can now say that this is one over nine times one. And you've got K equals negative six. So you have negative six over three. So it's one minus 2x to the power of negative 2. That's now our uh, bracket. We know k is negative 6. So this is our what we have to expand. Now, they only want us to find the, the value of d. Okay, We've already found what b and c is, or we've used b and c to find what k is. They only want us to find the value of d here. The question says, find the value of d. 
So we don't need to find what B and C are, we just need to find what D is. So we've already finished that first part, 1 plus nx times n times n minus 1 um, over 2 factorial times x squared. Now we've got to do plus, so we got all of that stuff, um, 1 over 9 times. You have n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 over 3 factorial, which is 3 times 2 times 1 times x cubed. That's our what we have to, you know, that's like the formula, you could say. So you have 1 over 9 times, and you're going to have a minus 2 times minus 3 times minus 4. Okay, that's minus 2 times minus 3 times minus 4 over 3 times 2 times 1. I'll leave it like this for now. Times, an x member is here now, minus 2x, okay, minus 2x to the power of 3. Okay, and that's going to give us an x cubed term. So here we have 1 over 9, and then we're going to have inside the bracket negative times negative times negative times negative is all going to be positive. These will cancel out. So you're left with 4 times 8x cubed. So you end up with 4x to 32. That's 32 over 9x cubed. Therefore, we can say d is equal to 32 over 9. Okay, so we found the x cubed term which is 42, 32 over 9. And that concludes this question, which is a pretty straightforward question, actually, for binomial expansion from June 2022 of the P4 paper. Other questions that you want to see from this paper can be found in the playlist that will appear in the top right over here. Other questions from this topic of binomial expansion from P4 in the playlist over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. And in the description of the video, you will see um, some links to take you to the, the index that I have for my different papers, and that will help you navigate them um, a lot easier. Thank you for watching, and see you soon.